some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, with a frauditor who, uh, well, gets rather upset because they want to see his receipt at a Walmart before he walks out the door. Oh, my goodness, and he considers it profiling, too. Well, dude, I hate to burst your bubble, but it's a privately owned business open to the public, and they can check your receipts. So, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? Now, while it's not exactly a legal requirement to show your uh, receipt at a Walmart when they ask you for it, uh, it certainly does raise alarm bells to the staff that you might be hiding something and they could potentially detain you, trespass you, and if they discover that you have been, uh, well, stealing items, they could, uh, definitely have you arrested. But you know how frauders are. Uh, they want you to bend over backwards to lick their boots, but, uh, well, when it comes to asking them for even the simplest of things, they'll make a complete uh, shit show out of it. How come you ask for my receipt, but you're not asking for other people's receipts? Doesn't matter. What does that matter? Doesn't matter how much stuff somebody has. Nobody has to show their receipt. You can ask, but nobody, you, nobody has to show their receipt. But it's profiling. Why would you? It, Oh, profiling, you say? Uh, yeah, dude, uh, I don't think so. Not in this case, considering that you do have a shopping cart full of stuff and uh, you were at the self-checkout and things tend to happen at the self-checkout. People, well, may accidentally uh, fail to scan something and, uh, well, they at least got to make sure that... Uh, you're being honest. That way, they don't have any shrink going out. Shrink basically meaning, uh, well, loss of product in some way, shape, or form. But but I guess you can't expect a fraud order to understand that kind of thing because uh, most of them have never worked a day in their life in some form or another at a uh, at a uh, retail store, which means they would never understand that concept to begin with of shrink. Either you ask everybody or you don't ask anybody because if you only ask certain people it comes off as discrimination, right? Like are you profile? You think I'm gonna steal? Are you accusing me of stealing? It doesn't matter how much stuff somebody has. What's your name? What's I'm gonna file a complaint. But can I get your name? I swear it's in the nature of these frauditors to ask for names and badge numbers when they feel like their rights have been trampled on even though well, that never happened to begin with, but you know, they got a bitch, whine, cry, complain, and everything like that until they get satisfaction, which means their boots get licked and everything like that. Yeah, a poor little frauditor throwing a little tantrum over such a stupid little thing.
Uh, could I get your name though? I'm gonna fall corporate too. I'm gonna call corporate. Can I get your name though? Why? Well, they're supposed to be wearing name tags, aren't they? Like a first name. They can't. You can ask for receipts, but nobody has to show their receipt. And she didn't ask anybody else. She specifically they're asked me for my. She's claiming I have a lot of stuff. Just calm down. Just I am calm. I am calm. I have a loud voice. I have a loud voice. Don't don't accuse me of not being calm. I am calm. Okay, so she asked me for my receipt and she didn't ask anybody else for their receipt. Oh, how do you know that? I mean, you only stood there for a few seconds observing her when uh, she would obviously be standing there for hours on end uh, at that uh, checkpoint. So, yeah, you uh, kind of fail on that uh, aspect, dude. Because, you know, since she's standing there for hours on end, you don't know how many receipts that she's asked for. Now, do you? You only uh, looked at a small portion of uh, her daily duties. And she's not giving her first name. Can I get her first name so I can file a complaint to corporate? Just wait, I'm going to call too. Who are you going to call? I just want, I don't want to waste time here, so I just want her first name so I can call corporate. Remember, either ask everybody for their receipt and nobody has to show their receipt or don't ask anybody. If you only ask certain people for receipts, it's profiling. And that's where the video suddenly ends right there. I mean, who knows what happened after this? I mean, it's certainly uh, interesting that he would end it here because, well, if he won this argument, certainly he would uh, show it now, wouldn't he? Yeah, it seems rather suspicious to cut it off at that point. I mean, maybe either they explained it to you or they trespassed you or something like that. But show us. Go ahead and show us what happened. I mean, you're a frauditor. You shouldn't be ashamed of the outcome. You always post uh, the outcome no matter what, even if you got trespassed, arrested, or nothing ever happened at all. I mean, show us. But you know what? He's too much of a coward to show us anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?